This is a video that I have waited two years to make. Looking forward to this chance with much anticipation. In 2018, I visited my favorite otter sanctuary, Otters and Butterflies in Buckfastly, Devon. I had the glorious opportunity to meet a group of adorable otters and to get to know them and feed them. Unfortunately, all the video that we took of that fun day was lost in an unfortunate iPhone incident. So I was determined to return this year and go back to Otters and Butterflies and visit my otter friends again and capture the experience on video for the Magenta Otter Tribe. This is the first of four videos in the series. Today, I will introduce you to an old friend and his new family. Two years ago, we met the darling couple of Asian otters known as Jasmine and Rowan. I had the joy of hand feeding them raw meatballs. They were delightful. The otters, not the meatballs. Jasmine was a mature female otter with a very sweet disposition. These are photos of me helping her to make her bed. And this is a photo I snapped of Jasmine looking like she's laughing. It's how I will always remember her. Jasmine had a good long life, but has crossed over the rainbow bridge to the otter heaven above. Her young and feisty husband, Rowan, was best known for his insatiable desire to chew on the heels of wellies. This is a photo of him attacking Ian's heel. I was wearing my brand new black and magenta wellies, so whenever Rowan came near me, I danced around to keep him from chomping on my boots. I was thrilled to visit the Otter Sanctuary last month, September 2020, and get to see my old friend Rowan again and meet his new wife, Willow, and their four babies. In fact, the babies had just celebrated their one year birthday the day before our visit. And honestly, the photo of Rowan holding hands with Willow that you're about to see melts my heart. It's so sweet. This video is of Rowan, Willow, and their family. Please hit the like button as it's extremely important to my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Then you will be alerted when each of the additional Otter videos come out in the series. And now for Rowan and Willow and their pups. The voice you hear is of Kira, the trainer at Otters and Butterflies, who was there with me. Right on the end there on your left, that's your old buddy, Rowan. So that's Rowan, who used to be the welly chewer, holding hands with his wife, Willow. Oh my goodness. So that's Willow. Willow is three years old. Rowan is now eight years old. And then these four are their children. So we have got Oakley, Ashley, Dave, and Lily. Now, the first two are Oakley and Ashley. They're very similar in personalities. They're not the most outgoing otters. They're quite shy. They do tend to keep themselves in the group. Um, and then you've got Dave. Dave is sort of, a, he's kind of creeping into the second place now. Now, Dave's one of the largest out of all the baby ones when we weighed them. And he can get grumpy fairly quickly. And then finally, you've got little Lily. She's the smallest and the weakest out of everyone. Um, so she's what's known as the runt of the litter. Now the runts don't usually get taken in by the parents. Parents do tend to just kick them out and let them defend themselves. Um, and obviously they don't normally survive in the wild on their own. But we're very lucky. Willow and Rowan have decided to keep hold of her. She's gone right at the back there. Um, and amazingly, she looks like a little angel, real sweet and cute, but she is one of the nastiest ones in this pack. <laughs> and all of them oh, nice. are hand feed, but because of her, we can't allow anyone in just yet because she still bites everyone's legs, she breaks oh, no. them apart, she nicks food out of my hands, she's still very too too rude, if you like, to go in with. Um, so like I say, worse than Rowan when he first started. <laughs> Juggling yeah, that's Dave at the back there. So 
this is Rowan right here? Yes, this is where he's saying hi to now. Hello, Rowan, old friend. Rowan was literally full asleep like that now. I think being a dad's full on taking it out of him. And oh, he just yeah. Like, sticks against the fence as he could. He is a sleep deprived daddy. Look at that. Yawning, can't keep his eyes open. But, I mean, he's a good five years older than everyone else as well. So, obviously, everyone's running around being mental because Willow's only three and she's mum, and then the babies are one now. So, obviously, you know, they're all still very young. They'll run around together and go nuts, and she just saw that the black panting, trying to keep up. What are you doing, Momo? So, you're now the best daughter, aren't you? You're so kind and gentle. You're the best boy. You never would have thought that two years ago. And then their new halt over there, they're still sort of transferring from their travel box to the new halt. Obviously it's new, so you've got to keep the other box in there for a minute. They're like, when is feeding time? You're here, you're talking to me. So this is basically Willow, um, tries to groom her children still, and the boys are like, Mom, I'm too old, you don't need to do it anymore. So you'll find they literally just roll over and almost pretend to be dead while she does it. <laughs> 